Okay, so in this video, we want to consider the following three inequalities regarding the norm of a sum or a difference of vectors. So the first two, and we'll see that as soon as we prove the first one, the second one follows directly from the first. These two are called the triangle inequality. And the third one is called the reversed triangle inequality. So look at the first one. What does it say? It says, suppose you have two vectors, u and v. Well, the norm of u plus v will be at most the norm of u plus the norm of v. And the question says to use properties of a triangle to prove the following inequalities. So we have two vectors u and v. Let's try and construct a triangle from these two vectors. Again, we can position vectors anywhere we want in space. So assume that the vector u is here. And I'll position vector v so that its initial point lies on the terminal point of vector v, of vector u. Well, the idea is to complete a triangle with this picture. We have one edge of the triangle given by vector u, the second edge by vector v. We can naturally form the third edge by doing u plus v. So we have now the third edge of a triangle, being the edge u plus v. And now if you remember, and this is the property of the triangle that we'll use, given the triangle, the sum of any two of the edges has to be at least the length of the third edge, right? And imagine it this way. Suppose you are trying to build a triangle, and suppose that one of the edges, say this one, is longer than the sum of the other two edges. So imagine one edge being this one, and the other edge being this one. If the third edge is longer than the sum of the other two edges, you cannot construct a triangle. Think of rotating this segment. Well, any way you rotate it, and any way you rotate the other segment, they'll never meet if they're too short, so then it is impossible to build a triangle. So you cannot have a triangle if the length of two of the edges in total is less than the length of the third edge. So because we have here a triangle, the sum of any two of the edges must be at least the length of the third edge. So, if we look at it this way, actually if we reverse that statement, any given edge cannot exceed the length of the other two edges. So th take this edge, the segment u plus v, and the length of u plus v, because we have a triangle, cannot exceed the sum of the two other lengths. And we can see from the picture again, if the length of one edge exceeds the sum of the lengths of the other two edges, it is impossible to build a triangle. So any given edge, say this one, cannot exceed the length of this edge plus the length of this edge. And there you have it. This is the so-called triangle inequality. The sum of any given edge of a triangle can never exceed the total sum of the other two edges. Otherwise, you cannot have a triangle. Now we can prove B in one line using A. Right? B says simply that the result holds with a subtraction. So instead of u plus v, u minus v. But if you think of it, this is quite easy because u minus v, we know simply means the norm of u. And what's negative v? Well, it means that you add to u the negative of vector v. And now we can use a triangle inequality that we've proved in part a. The length of the sum of two vectors is at most the sum of the individual norms. So this is at most the norm of the first vector, 
norm of u plus the norm of the second vector, which is negative v. But the norm of negative v, that's the same as the norm of v, right? Negative v is the vector whose length is the same as v, but whose direction is opposite. Well, the length is the same, therefore, this is just norm of u plus the norm of v. And then we have result b. The norm of u minus v will never exceed the norm of u plus norm of v. And to prove c, which is called the reversed triangle inequality, which says that the norm of u minus v will have to exceed always the norm of u minus the norm of v. And I will let you prove this one. And you think of it, you want to again build a triangle and use the fact that for any given triangle, the length of any edge cannot exceed the sum of the lengths of the other two edges. And the idea here is to build a triangle with the vectors that are given to you. So here naturally, we would build this triangle because the vectors that were given were u plus v, u and v. So with u and v, we built the third edge with u plus v. To prove the reversed triangle inequality, naturally you want to build a triangle whose edges are given by the vectors u, v, and u minus v. And if you think of it, this should take you just one or two lines to prove the so-called reversed triangle inequality.